Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle JSON values in Python. So first of all, what is JSON? So JSON is a text format which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And JSON is a syntax which is used for storing and exchanging data. Now, if you want to know more about JSON, what is JSON and how to create JSONs and what value you can store in JSON, then I have created a whole video about that. So you can watch that video and understand more about JSON. So let's get started with this tutorial and let's see how we can use JSON in Python. So to use JSON in Python, you use a inbuilt package which is called JSON. So you need to import this inbuilt package, which is JSON. Now let's say I have a Python dictionary. So let me create a dictionary in Python, which have, let's say, So this is our dictionary in Python. So in order to convert this dictionary into JSON, you use this JSON keyword, which we have imported here, and then call a method called dumps. So this dumps method we can call here to convert some Python values to a JSON value. And we will pass this dictionary variable A here. And in order to print the value of JSON, we can use this print method. So I'm going to enclose this JSON dot dumps method inside our print function. Now let's run this code and you will see that this JSON dot dumps function has converted your dictionary into a JSON value. So this is a JSON text format. Now the next question which can arise here is what data types this dumps function takes as an argument. So it takes a dictionary we already know now, but what are the other data types which we can pass as an argument to this dumps function? So it turns out that you can provide majority of your collections and your data types as an argument to this dumps function. So you can provide dictionary here, list, tuple, string, int, float, or a Boolean value, any value you can provide here. I think sets you cannot provide as an argument here, but other than sets, you can provide any other format as an argument to this dumps methods. So let me show you how you can provide all these values into this json.dumps function. So here in the first print statement, I have provided the dictionary. In the second print statement, I have provided the list. In the third, we have provided tuple. In the fourth statement, we have provided the string and then the integer and then float values. And then we have provided the two Boolean values, false and true. And at last, we have provided this none keyword to this dumps function. So let's run the code and let's see what happens. So everything runs fine. So that means you can convert from this json.dumps function a dictionary or a list or a tuple or a string or a decimal or a float or a boolean value into a JSON value. And all these are valid JSON values. Now let me go once again to this uh, dictionary method. And here also as the JSON values, you can provide any type of values which I have shown here. So you can uh, use inside this dictionary, for example, another dictionary. So I can just write, uh, So we can also provide a tuple here. So let's run this code and it's totally valid. So you can see our dictionary is now converted to a JSON value. Now this dumps function also takes few other parameters also. So we can also provide a parameter called indent here. So you need to write indent is equal to, and then after that you can write some number here. So if you want to give the indent of four to each and every element of your JSON, then you can write indent is equal to four. And let me run the code once again. And now you can see this JSON is printed into a pretty format. And the indentation here, indentation means this indentation is 
four spaces for each and every element of your JSON. So if you want to print your JSON into a pretty format, then you can uh, just write indent is equal to and the number of indents you want to give. So let's say I want to provide just two indents here and let me run the code once again and you will see now this only have the two indents for every element of this JSON. Also you can provide a parameter called separators and as the separators let's say first value I want to provide here is a dot value and the, the space here and the second value I want to provide here is this equals to symbol. So what this separators argument does is it will replace your commas with this dot notation and your colons with this equals to notation and when I run the code you can see now the colon is replaced by the equals to symbol and the comma is replaced by this dot symbol. So you can use separators like this also but I will not prefer to use these kind of notation. The original notation is the one which I prefer to use which is with commas and these colons. One more thing you can use here is the sort keys. So you can just write sort keys here and whenever you write true here, it's going to sort your JSON according to their alphabetical order. So you can see right now your keys are assembled in non-alphabetical order. So they are assembled in a random manner but when you give sort keys is equal to true here and I'm going to run the code, you can see age comes first, then the marks and then the name and then the object. So now your keys are assembled or sorted in the alphabetical order when you use this kind of notation. Now let's try to save this JSON value into a JSON file. So in the last video I have shown you, you can use this with statement and then you can use a open function and we can uh, provide a file name here for example demo.json so json file always have the extension dot json and the second value we will provide here is the mode so we want to write to the file so that's why we have used w here as fh and then using this fh we can write to this file which we have created. So we can pass this json.dumps function here and now your dictionary A will be converted into a JSON and then this JSON will be saved into this demo.json file. You can see here I'm working inside this file handling project and here I only have .py file and when I run this code, you will see there is one more file which will be created here which is demo.json. So I can open this file here and here you will see all our JSON values are saved in this demo.json file. So we have provided these values into the demo.json file. Let me just split the screen so you will be able to see it correctly. So we have provided a name here. So name is here, age is here, marks is here, and then the object is here and also the pass is also here. So this is how you can write your JSON values into a file. Now let's see how we can read the JSON values from a file. So I'm going to remove this uh, dictionary from here and instead of using this write mode, I'm going to just use read mode, which we use to read from the file and a file we already have. So let's say we want to read all this data which we have written into this file. And now instead of using this line, I need to use fh.read function here. And to print the content, what we have read from this file, we can use the print function. So I'm going to enclose this fh.read into the print function. And let's run the code first of all. And when I run this code, you can see it prints all the content of this JSON. Now one thing which you need to observe here is this fh.read function is going to give you a string value. So to confirm that we can uh, just write type here and we will just see the type of this fh.read function and I'm going to run the code. Let's see what's the answer. So you can see this 
read replies you in the form of string. So in order to convert this string into some parsable format, you use a function called json.loads. So I'm going to save this string into, uh, let's say a variable, json underscore str. This is the variable name and we will assign whatever we read from the file into this variable. And now what we can do here is we can convert this string into a JSON value using a method called json.loads. So let me create a variable once again. So JSON value is the variable name. And then I can use this JSON keyword, which we have imported dot loads function. So just use the loads function and then pass the string as an argument of this loads function. So this loads function takes a string and converts it into a JSON value. So now let's print the type of the JSON value. So I'm going to just write print type and then we use the JSON value argument here. And then once again, run the code and you will see now the JSON value data type is the dictionary. So because now it's a dictionary, we can parse some values from it. So let's say from this JSON value dictionary, we want to get the name. So name here we have stored is max. So we can uh, just give the key here name and then run the code it's going to give us the value associated with the name, which is max. So this json.loads function we use to convert from a JSON or a string value into a Python dictionary. So this is how you can handle JSON values in Python. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.